So back in 2020, Artem Watch Straps came out with a sailcloth strap, and I think they were trying to make the best sailcloth strap you can get for under $100, and I think they were wildly successful in that effort. Fast forward to now, and Artem has a second sailcloth strap out, and this time I think they're just trying to make flat out the best sailcloth strap there is. And while there has certainly been a quality increase, there's also been a sizable price increase. So let's check out their new offerings and see if they succeeded. Hey guys, welcome back to Just The Watch. My name's Dave, I live in Japan, and I love to collect affordable watches. And that's gonna make for some interesting footage in a minute here because I'm gonna be showing you these luxury level watch straps on some watches that cost pretty close to the same as the strap. That also puts me at a little bit of a disadvantage here reviewing these because while I can absolutely say without a doubt that these are the best sailcloth straps I've ever seen, I've really only seen budget sailcloth straps. And I've seen a lot of budget sailcloth straps. Sailcloth straps that you can get for around 20 or 30 or even $40. And honestly, I've never been really that impressed with budget sailcloth straps. There seems to be something about making a good sailcloth strap that is difficult. It is a premium strap, and when you get a good one, there is a huge difference in the quality between the cheap ones and the good ones. But I've never experienced the real luxury ones that come with watches like from like Blancpain or Omega. So I can't really comment too much on how these compare with those, but let's go ahead and get into it. Now, Artem did send all of these products in for free for review, which is why you saw the paid promotions flag at the beginning of this video. However, other than the straps and clasps themselves, I did not receive any compensation for this review, nor did Artem have any input into the content of the review. Now, in addition to sending over their new sailcloth straps, they also sent me a new deployant clasp that is compatible with their classic line of sailcloth straps, so they're more affordable sailcloth straps. Artem has two levels of sailcloth straps. They are very different. The classic line comes in at $85 that I have previously reviewed here on the channel, so you can check that out. The new version of their sailcloth strap, which they're calling their loopless strap, comes in at $133, but that's without a buckle. These straps are specially designed to work with a particular kind of deployant clasp. And so I think the idea of selling it without the clasp is that if you have like an Omega watch that has this clasp on it, on a different strap, you can save a little bit of money and use your stock Omega clasp with this strap, I'm guessing is what they're going for. Again, not a luxury watch guy here, so I'm not 100% sure. But the key thing to note is that if you don't have that clasp, you can't use this strap. You have to buy a clasp, which Artem also sells. You can get it bundled. But when you do that, if you get it with the clasp, the price jumps up to $201. So really the price that you're looking at to get this strap fully kitted out and functional from Artem is $201 you might be able to find this class for cheaper at other places, I'm not sure. But again, this is a luxury level strap that we're looking at and it's priced accordingly. These are straps that would feel right at home with very high-end watches. And I think that's primarily the market here. When you start talking about a $200 strap, it probably doesn't make much sense to put it on a watch under $1,000, unless it's a watch that you're really attached to and you really wanna treat well. Because while these are very expensive straps, they are pretty amazing sailcloth straps. The new loopless design is incredibly soft and comfortable. There really is no break-in time. And the new design of the strap with the clasp allows it to have a very sleek look on the wrist. There are no loops or keepers. The strap is engineered in such a way that it that the tail of the strap is folded up against your wrist on the underside of the strap. So it's a very clean look. They've also reinforced the holes on this one with an extra bit of material to make absolutely sure that you're not gonna have any fraying going on there. Whereas Artem's classic sailcloth strap had kind of a heavy um, sort of texture and shape to them. This one is a lot flatter and again, just has a cleaner, sleeker look. From a visual standpoint, I don't think one style is necessarily better than the other. They're just different looks. And I feel like with this loopless design, that kind of flatter, sleeker look really suits it well. The buckle that they sell that you can get as the add-on is very well manufactured. It functions perfectly. Very solid little buckle. That said, I was surprised to see that they were charging basically $68 for this buckle. It seemed a little bit on the high side for what they're offering. One thing that Artem has absolutely nailed about these straps is that they use a synthetic backing against the underside of the sailcloth. This allows them to be actually waterproof. So many of the budget sailcloth straps that I see have a leather backing, which kind of defeats the purpose. 
For me, sailcloth straps are kind of the perfect blend between a sports strap and a dress strap. They have an elegant and sophisticated look to them, and yet they're also completely waterproof. This kind of flatter, sleeker design, I think, suits a pretty wide range of watches really well. I believe it's inspired by a strap that comes on the Omega Speedmaster. I've got it pretty much living on my Bull of a Lunar Pilot, which I picked up for like $350. But yeah, putting this $200 strap on my $350 Lunar Pilot is a pretty awesome package. Surprisingly, I found it worked pretty well on this little rotary quartz dress watch that I had. This is a pairing I did not expect to work at all. But again, these straps have a huge amount of versatility in the kind of watch that you can put them on. If you put it on a dress watch, it's going to make it look a little bit more sporty. And if you put it on a dive watch, it's going to look a little bit more elegant. Probably the most natural fit for this was putting it on my Squale uh, Corso Italiano that What a Watch has sent over not too long ago. That's a watch that draws heavy inspiration from Blanc Pond, which is also famous for using sailcloth straps on their watches. So just a perfect fit for that. And with that watch having a retail price around $1,500, I think it makes a little bit more sense to put this kind of a strap on there. Now let's jump over and talk about the new Deployant Clasp for their Classic line. This one really did impress me. Like they charge $73 for this clasp. And yeah, this one looks and feels like a $73 clasp. It has this really cool spring mechanism that is just so much fun to use. And I think it is a very major upgrade to their Classic straps. On their classic line, the buckle that it was included in that was the one part of it that I was not a huge fan of. It's kind of an oversized buckle, and I found it did give me a little bit of discomfort on the underside of my wrist. Putting this deployant clasp on it really changed the whole character of the strap. I've never seen a deployant clasp that functions like this. There's no locking mechanism or buttons on it. It's all just spring and tension loaded. However, it is very secure on the wrist. I've never had it pop up with on its own. And again, it's just really fun to use. So to wrap this up, talking about the value that these things offer, again, these are primarily geared towards luxury watches. So if you have luxury watches and you're spending $5,000, $10,000 on a watch and 80, spending $80 or $150 or $200 on a really well-made sailcloth strap seems like a pretty good bargain. But if your collection is primarily made up of watches under $500 like mine, your cost consideration starts to go something like, do I get this watch strap or do I get this whole other watch or half of a watch that I'm saving up to try and get? That said, the straps themselves are fantastic. And yeah, I've had a lot of fun pairing these up on watches that they probably typically would never get paired up with. And in pretty much every case, it really does bring the watch up a notch. Let me know what you guys think down below. Always love to hear from you in the comments. Leave a link to Artem as well. Big thanks to them again for providing these straps for review. But that will wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.